Oops. There we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> where's the sound? There it is. I forgot I muted it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I've honestly been looking forward to this a lot. Also, I'm experimenting. Um, hey, hey, what's up, JJ? I'm experimenting having the music just a little bit louder. Let me know if it's too loud. I feel like it's at a pretty good volume still. You can still hear my hear my beautiful dulcet tones. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to get into Pokemon Emerald. I have been doing just like a lot of team planning stuff for it just for fun. And I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Um, so here, let's do a little quick team recap. Um, we just defeated Wally. -E. Um, we have my boy Ron, the Aron. We have Ziggy, the Zigzagoon, of course. We've got Piccolo, the Grovile. Cloud, the Wingle. And Fudge Cake, the Makuhita. And again, really the only permanent members I have on here are Ron and Piccolo. So we'll see what else we pick up. We might get one today. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So the music was a little a little bit hard to hear on the last one. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so I'll probably just have it a little louder now. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, so we just defeated Wally. Um, we're gonna oop, who we got? Ah one of our fisherman friends. Righteous, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. So we we picked up a bike in our last episode, which is lovely. Um, so now we're gonna heal for just a second. Great. Okay. We might go a little bit longer tonight. Um, yeah, I don't usually stream on Friday nights, but I knew I had to push things back a little bit, and I was really feeling it. I'm really excited. All right. So now that we've done that, I actually want to hop into the gym, because I definitely want to fight the trainers in the gym, and as you can see, we have another emerald patented double battle. Um, I'm gonna give a, put a little bit into Fudge Cake here, um, because Fudge Cake is going to be very important for this gym, I believe. Um, because, uh, we cannot get our next team member until we defeat this gym. Um, which I'm real excited about. And, I have a lot of fun, I guess, tricks up my sleeve for what we're gonna do for this playthrough. Um, a lot of, a couple of the Pokemon that I have planned, because, you know, a lot of people will run um, a run on their teams, because you find it pretty early, it's, it's a really kind of key Pokemon there in the Granite Cave. Um, but I'm really excited to give you guys a few surprises. Um, for those of you that have played Emerald before. And for those of you that have not played it before, um, uh, welcome to just the glorious world of Pokemon Emerald. It's so delightful. I love it. Um, but you'll see some things that people might not usually do on their on their playthrough teams. Ah, Fudge Cake avoided earlier. Ah, bide. Okay, I don't even remember. I think I just used Vital Throw on the Metatite, so... That might not be too terrible. Okay, I forgot that you each have two. Yeah, um, at this point in the game, we'll see a lot of these Electrodes and Voltorbs. All right, so that Bide's actually gonna be kind of hurtful um, when it comes back at us, but that's okay. But, how was everybody's week? Um, mine turned out pretty solid, nothing too crazy. Um, I am ridiculously excited. Uh, I've probably expressed to you guys, I work in a school and I only have one week left until um, summer vacation. So that's going to be positively divine. And hopefully I will just have a lot less stress. I might be able to stream a little bit more, um, which makes me happy. Oh, here comes Bide. All right, this will do over half for sure. Oh no, okay, I actually feel really good about that. Um, oh, you're good. Awesome. I am also excited for you to chill this weekend. 
yeah, we actually have a very chill weekend planned, um, for the most part. We have a few things to do on Sunday, but... Hey, what's up, like Aaron? How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. Um, okay, if we're both gonna be hitting into this Metatite for its bide, we need to make sure we kill it soon, and we should be fine. Um, because it's gonna charge up for one more turn. Ah, good to see you. Um, let's see. But yeah, tomorrow is gonna be like one of the chillest days that ever chilled. And I am so excited about it. Actually, I am probably planning on streaming Emerald here in my normal. Oh, yes, this Metatite knows Thunder Punch. Very cool. Um, that's why it's in the Electric Gym. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick up some Emerald again tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I know a lot of people really kind of like that uh, Saturday afternoon slot. Um, let's see. That, that works really well for me, too. I also really like... There are some days where we have stuff going on, but I really like uh, streaming on the Saturday afternoons like that. Um, there we go. Fudge Kate got two levels on him. Love it. Um... You know, we're actually doing okay. I'll just swap Fudge Cake for Piccolo. Ooh, Ziggy has an item. What you got, Ziggy? A nice repel. Classic. Um, I'm actually going to hit a save just in th case things go south. And, as you all know, because I have anxiety. Okay, I think I messed that up, actually. Yeah. Yes, I did. And that's okay. Oh, I could have just stepped on that little tile. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, fam. I live in the opposite of the hood. But, uh... Let's see. I'm, hope I'm hoping we can defeat the... Oh, nice critical hit. I'm hoping that we can defeat the gym leader today so we can get our next team member, Gulpin. Oh, this is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Um, Ron has had his defense dropped. I'm gonna go into Ziggy, actually. I'll probably swap back into Ron. There we go, Ziggy can get a level. This is Gulpin, and you can catch it um, down on that route south of Mauville City, where we are now, um, by the cycling road. And it's a neat little Pokemon. It's kind of a weird little fella. It is a poison type, which is great because Ron's steel type is going to uh, completely nullify that. Ah, it won't nullify a yawn, though. Um, ooh, is there a name plan for the new member? No. If, if you have one, if you have one, submit one. I think it'll be funny to give them a name before we even know what Pokemon it is. Um, that'll be fun. Um... But yes, Gulpin is a poison type, and it's kind of a tricky attacker. It just uses Yawn. Yawn is a lot like Hypnosis, which we have um, uh, encountered in Gens 1 and 2, but it just has a delayed putting you to sleep. It takes an extra turn to put you to sleep, um, which isn't as good, but it has like 100% accuracy, basically. Guzzle is your name idea. I love it. Guzzle will be what we name our next team member. Um, so Gulpin is really... Sorry, I'm itching my foot. I'm scratching my foot. Um, that is something that uh, is a pet peeve of my wife's. Because you aren't itching your foot. She's right. You're scratching it. An itch is what you feel. <laughs> Fuckle. <laughs> With a PH. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Love it. Absolutely. Um, so funny. Ah, yawn again, but this headbutt should knock this out. Our boy Ron is doing really great work here today. Alright. Nice level for Ziggy. Love to see it. 
I'm okay. So what I'm gonna do... Okay, we have the squad in for the double battle over here. Yeah, this gym puzzle isn't too terribly hard to figure out. You just have to face a lot of the trainers. Oh, and if you saw what that guy just said there, the gym leader's name is Watson. Like Watts, Electrical Watts. It's a neat little name. I actually really like Watson. And specifically for Trico enjoyers like me, um, Watson can be a very tough gym leader, honestly. Um, because both um, Combuskin and Marshtomp, which we have not seen, that's what Mudkip evolves into, um, they're both usually better against him than Grovile is. In fact, Marshtomp's a ground type, so it's really good against him. Clever! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and over here to the right, we have another new Pokemon. This is Illumise. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, it is kind of like a cool, like, tricky bug type Pokemon. It's, it's, it's cool. I like it. Um, and it kind of has a counterpart named Volbeat. And they're not, like, super good, but they are interesting. They're just kind of these little beetle guys. Um, the first couple gens really do like to introduce those Pokemon that aren't, like, great, but are interesting. Okay, and it knows Shockwave, which we don't love to see. Um, Aran's almost out of headbutts. I think this needs to hit three times. Oh, yes it does. Please do so. I would love that. It didn't. It did not hit three times. It didn't hit three times, guys. Hmm. And with Ron going down, that's not helpful. Um, I am going to bring in Fudge Cake to begin. And I am just going to make sure... I'm going to hit into you, and I'm going to make sure that you are dead. Okay, good. So now Piccolo will only be taking one hit if he takes a hit at all. Ooh, a Vital Throw would be great against this Magnemite. Dang it. Dang it. We're actually not in great shape here, guys. <laughs> we might lose. Um, let's see what I can do with Ziggy on the Magnemite. Because we can Rock Smash it. That's going to be super effective. Grovile has no good moves against a Magnemite. Grovile doesn't really have good moves against either of these Pokemon, but I can quick attack the Illumise. Actually, I'm going to try to Bullet Seed the Magnemite. I would love to kind of... That's not what we want. Um, double hit the Magnemite as much as we can so we can isolate the Illumise. I'm probably going to have to use a potion so we don't die. <laughs> and I will say this this does not bode well for the gym leader. Um, let's see here. I'm going to let you hit again, and then I'm going to heal with Piccolo. Uh, we'll have to pick up some more super potions when we can. Because I can definitely use Cloud, but it's not going to be great against either of these Pokemon. Um, there we go. Because they both have electric type moves, and that's just going to completely annihilate our friend Cloud. Ah, but it does have the flying type wing attack, so if we can hit before the Illumise, we can do some good damage. It's really not great only seeing two bullet seeds there. That makes me sad. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, guys, we're gonna lose! <laughs> Dang it! I know! <laughs> uh, guys, okay, do you want me to reset to save myself, or do you want me to just take the L and lose the money? Because every time you lose, you lose some money. Um, what do you think? Oh no, I used it on the wrong Pokemon. 
I'm going to speed through this a little bit to see if we can even win. I am getting such bad luck on Bullet Seed. Okay, we'll take the L. We'll take the L. It's okay. We lost to a couple random trainers. That's real not good. All right, so what is my money situation? Okay. I don't... I have no idea what we had. Um, I feel like in some games losing like halves the money that you have, which is very bad. <laughs> let's see, let's see what we can buy here. Awesome, I'll buy, I'll buy a great ball, it's good. And I'll buy a couple more of these actually. I have 12, there we go. Two for each of our Pokemon. So I feel like if we go in there with a better strategy, we can probably defeat them. But on the other hand, maybe I'll go over here first and see what we can do against some of these trainers. I know there's a double battle. It's up here. There you are. Oh, over here, you can see some Pokemon up there. This is the daycare. Um, and we're not going to get into that now. But uh, we might uh, have, have something to do with that a little bit later. So that'll be kind of neat. Um, okay, we'll do Ron and Piccolo again. Hello! And some of the, you have some of these trainers that are literally standing next to each other, and these are always double battles. And Ruby and Sapphire had these trainers. Um, the ones that are, like, definitely double battles. Um but they did not have those trainers that are like lined up with each other to create double battles, essentially. Um, we are getting the worst bullet seed luck. And also this, I would love a flinch. Love a flinch, okay, good. Because if that Makuhita hit Ron with a vital throw, that was going to be a for sure L on Ron. I really do like showing off a lot of the new Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, a lot of them are really great. I, I have been pretty on the record that Generation 2 is my favorite, um, and a lot of my favorite Pokemon are from Generation 2. But Generation 3 has some really good ones, and... I think I was saying in a YouTube comment the other day, um, excuse me, that Emerald specifically does a really, really good job of showcasing like some of the things that are available to you, um, like double battles and um, a way better job of showcasing the Pokemon that are available to you. I think this guy has a Doduo. Which is a bad matchup for our Grovile, but I'm feeling I'm feeling spicy. We already lost. We have nothing left to lose. Um, let's see. But yes, um, Generation Two famously does a horrible job of showcasing the new Johto Pokemon. Um, very very bad. <laughs> uh, but this one, you really get like a really cool progression of what the game has to offer throughout the game. Uh, let's see. We'll just go into Ron. It's easy. Okay, good. Doduo does no pursuit sometimes. We could have got hit with that right there. All right. So, uh, yeah, this summer, I'm really excited to just keep doing this and just keep doing it, like, super consistently. And, like I said, I think we can get into some other games. Um, and I've always said that Pokemon's kind of like my bread and butter. It's literally called Silver Cave Gaming. We're going to play Pokemon on this channel. Um, but... Other franchises I definitely want to get into. I I have really enjoyed the Yu-Gi-Oh streams that we've had. Um, I know a couple people have 
enjoyed those two. They're def definitely more of a niche pick, but it's really lovely and fun to get into that. Um, let's see. Okay, we have some potions. I'll just use one of Piccolo. Great. Um, so this trainer here is interesting. He is a Pokemon Breeder, and I like the Pokemon Breeder trainer class in this game because they usually have a lot of Pokemon. Like in this case, he's got six. And here's Whismur. Have we seen Whismur yet? Um, this is a Pokemon that you find in Rust Turf Tunnel, which is where we found the Team Aqua Grunt that stole the Devon Goods and stole the Wingle, stole Mr. Briny's Wingle, Pico, of course. Um, also, I feel like our Bullet Seed luck has been, has continued to be horrendous. Sorry, I'm putting my jacket on. A little chilly. There we go. But yeah, Whisper is a cool Pokemon. It is a normal type. We will see some of its evolutions later in our playthrough. Um, what was it, Taylor? We'll go to Ron. Save our boy Piccolo. And this is always really nice because even though they do have a lot of Pokemon, I'm just turning it off for now because I'm going to speed up a little bit. Even though the Breeder Trainer class has a lot of Pokemon, we'll use Fudge Kick here, um, they're all at a lower level, so they're not going to be as threatening to us. There we go. Um, sometimes Iran can have the ability Sturdy, I'm pretty sure, which makes it so that if a move is going to knock it out in one hit, um, it can... I'll stay in with Fudge Cake. Another good matchup here with Puchiana, Dark type. Um, <laughs> Arm Thrust is a funny name for a fighting move. Yeah, it kind of is. They, I mean, you know, they kind of run out of move titles. Even in Generation 3, they have to start getting, like, a little more creative with, with what they're going to name moves. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it sounds so technical. I mean, hey... Makuhita is a, a technician when it comes to battling. Ah, nice. We can fight him later, which is lovely. Um, I was going to check something. Oh yeah, I was going to check our Aran's ability. I don't even know. Rockhead. Um, so this is a different ability, of course, than Sturdy. Um, Sturdy would make it so you could survive a hit that would knock you out in one hit. Rockhead makes it so that you don't take recoil damage, like... In Yellow and Crystal, there was the move Double Edge, and Double Edge was a move that would do recoil damage. So, if we want to teach Ron Double Edge or Takedown, it will not do that recoil damage to our boy Ron, which is great. And these triathletes tend to have some Doduos because they're runners, and Doduo is a running ostrich with two heads. Classic. You see those all the time. Yeah, our boy Ron's getting... Ooh, I love that kind of, like, background they have for some of the Dark-type moves. Um, our boy Ron is starting to get real beefed up here, folks. So there's definitely, like, a good amount of trainers on this route. This is a nice little spot to train. Um, like, there's a double battle down there. Let's see. I don't remember what this... Oh, this fella has bug types. Um, I'm let Ron get in there first. Ah, once a bug catcher, now I'm a bug maniac. <laughs> yeah. There's the Bug Catcher Trainer class, and then you have these guys, Bug Maniacs. Um, ah, this is cool. I remember this guy. If you remember our friend Wormpole that we encountered earlier in the game, Wormpole can evolve into two different Pokemon. It can either evolve into this, Dustox, which is a Bug Poison type, I'm almost positive. Um, but it can also evolve into the Bug Flying type, Beautifly. Um, which is based more on just a regular butterfly. 
rather than kind of like a weird moth here. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of Dust Tox. I think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this guy has a Dust Tox and a Beautifly. Um, and it really nicely shows off the two different routes that your Wurmple can take. It also evolves into two, like, very subtly different Cocoon Pokemon. If it's going to evolve into a Beautifly, it will evolve into Silcoon, which is white. And if it's going to evolve into Dustox, it will evolve into Cascoon, which is purple. Beautifly, I think, is a lovely Pokemon. I think it's a nice little Butterfly Pokemon. I still think the, the king of Butterfly Pokemon is Butterfree, but Beautifly is nice, too. Um... Oh, you're classed in an experiment where you watch caterpillars become butterflies, and it was crazy. It is crazy. Like, that's crazy. Like, they turn into a butterfly. It's insane. Because, you know, we grow up too, but we just, we don't grow wings. We just turn into a stupid, older, uglier version of ourselves. Let's see. Wally! Oh, we got Wally's number. Your uncle bought you a Pokedam. Now I can get in touch with you anytime. Awesome. Um, <laughs> for reference, you're the teacher, not the student. Absolutely. Um, all right. I forget what's down here. Ah, we got a great ball. I feel like you find a lot of great balls just on the ground. Yes, I was about to say, there's got to be a hidden item over here. Still crazy as an adult. It's true. Um, and this woman... I believe is gonna be another breeder. Oops, not gonna give. Oh, another super potion. Thank you, Ziggy. Oh, you gotta love pickup. Pickup is such a beautiful, beautiful ability. Um, all right. So I'm gonna speed a little bit through this as well. Wingle is such a delightful little Pokemon. I really like what it evolves into as well. I'm excited to show you that. Goldeen is an excellent matchup for our boy Piccolo. Love to see it. Okay. Roselia, not as much. Let's... We'll go into Ron. That's fine. Roselia can probably, like, paralyze us, but it cannot poison us, which I love very much. I actually don't know if Metal Claw... Is Metal Claw bad against grass or poison? I don't remember. Oh, it's neutral. Okay. Meryl, another great matchup here. Yeah, Meryl's a Generation 2 Pokemon. Uh, I feel like it's another one of those Generation 2 Pokemon that you just don't really see very often. I only think maybe like one or two trainers have one. Um, Shroomish. We'll just let Cloud take it probably take it out in one shot um, with this wing attack oh not quite do, 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 do. but yeah I think I mentioned it earlier um, this is great for fudge cake um, turn the music back on for just a little while longer um, oh, this is Skitty. I don't know if we've seen a Skitty. You can catch these up by Rustboro City. Um, very, very cute. We'll see its evolved form later. But, as I was saying, uh, I believe that I've mentioned that there are a few Pokemon from Generation 2 that I know a lot of people in the community think are Generation 3 Pokemon because you just don't really see them in Gen 2. Um, Fake Out is a cool move. Um, we're going to get rid of Focus Energy. What it does, it only works on the first turn that your Pokemon is out, but it is a guaranteed priority flinching move. It will always hit first and it will always hit your opponent. And it will always flinch your opponent. But, like I said, it only works on the first turn that your, your Pokemon is out. So... It's kind of niche, but it's always good to get, like, a nice free hit off. Um, all right. So everybody's to level 19 now that we're going to really use in the gym. Um, and here we have... Hmm. 
Verdant Turf Town. Mmm. Gorgeous music in Verdant Turf Town. Oh my gosh. So lovely. Um, but this is where Wally lives now. So we can actually go and visit him. Let's do it. Let's visit our friend. Is this his house? Wanda's house? Wait, is this Wally's house? Yes. Um, because I think that's his mom. I lost USCG, but I'm not feeling down anymore because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my Ralts, I am going to challenge Pokemon Gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, SCG. I'm going to be stronger than you. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Ooh. I wonder if that will come up later in our playthrough. Who knows? So this right here, this is a battle tent. Um, and it is like a battle facility. And... There's one in Slateport, I believe. Um, here, the trainer's trust towards Pokemon is tested. I... What is the info? In the Verdantur Battle Tent, there is one crucial rule that must be obeyed. Trainers are permitted only to switch their Pokemon in and out. Trainers are otherwise forbidden to command their Pokemon. Okay. Um, so, some of these little battle, faci battle facilities, these battle tents, um, are just... Uh, just kind of side areas that you don't have to do. But you can get like a little prize if you beat three trainers in a row. So I'm not really going to do this right now. Um, I'm not like... I don't love doing the battle tents. You are more than welcome to. Um, but it does kind of foreshadow something that we'll see later. Um, here is Rust Turf Tunnel. Um, I will just pop in here... Because we have this hiker. Excuse me. Um, this is going to be a pretty easy experience for Piccolo. So um, we'll just let him do this. I will use a repel though. Pop up here. And I'll show you something up here in a bit. Um, and like I was saying earlier, the... Uh, ba -ba -ba -da, what was I saying earlier? The battle tents. They foreshadow something that you encounter later in the game that I really want to get into. Um, and maybe maybe one of these days I will try one of them. I ne Like I said, I never usually do them. Um, so that could be like a good little... Um, a good little piece of discovery for me, honestly. Um... Um, chop now. Let's... I will stay in. It's fun. Um... Because there are a lot of kind of like competitive battling focused areas in this game. Um, because like I said, there is another battle tent in Slateport there. Um, and there's that one there, of course. And once we defeat the gym leader in Mauville City, we're going to discover another little battle area that, again, I never usually do. Because something about some of these battle facilities is you have to kind of train your Pokemon very specifically. Um, very specifically to be, like, effective in them. Um, but here, we have, on the other side of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He He's not just digging the tunnel to come see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. Oh, that's cute. So what we want to do is we want to be able to smash that rock. But we cannot smash that rock until we defeat Watson. So once we come back, we're going to reunite our little lovers over there. And we'll see what happens. And this guy, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find him? So if you take a couple steps this way, there they are. The black glasses. It's like a pair of sunglasses. And they raise the power of dark type moves. Um, uh Pokemon has so much romance. Pokemon has everything, man. It's for everybody. It is just a glorious experience for, um, you know, all ages. It is so wonderful. Oh, and also I was talking about Whismur. If we run into something here, this will almost definitely be a Whismur. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that lives in this cave. So yeah. Um, if you were, if you wanted to add a Whismur to your team right before the Rustboro Gym would be 
an amazing time to do so. Um, okay. So now what I think I want to do um, is we'll come up and fight those three trainers later. Got all these people running around. Um, we are going to heal the squad. And I'm not going to take those two trainers so lightly this time. I am going to go back to the Marvel City Gym and I will avenge my loss. I shall be avenged. Alright, so if you just go around here, that's the only battle you have to do. Let's see, I'm gonna save though. <laughs> just in case. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have Cloud in there early just to see if I can really knock off that Iwamise. Because it having... Um, oh! Oh! Wait! Why did that happen? That's so weird. Did the game, like, think we beat the other person? That's so weird. Interesting. Um, okay, that worked terribly, because Cloud does not outspeed it. <laughs> If it did, that would be another story. All right, let's go into... Really interesting. I don't know why that happened. Um, oh, and I should talk about Shockwave. This is actually kind of like the signature move of this gym. Mm. Great critical hit. Um, Shockwave is a 60 base power electric type move, and it never misses. So that's really good. Um, if you recall, in Gens 1 and 2, there's a move called Swift. And this is basically just like the electric type version of Swift. And Swift isn't that great because it's a normal type move. But um, this being a an electric move has a lot more utility. So let's get Piccolo in here. I'm still struggling with these people. Just the mat the matchups are just really weird, especially because they have such a good counter for Wingle. Oh, and this here is Volbeat. Um, Volbeat is the counterpart to Illumise, and it. Uh, I feel like the way that its move set is built, I think it's supposed to be like a little more offensive. I I am not familiar with their stats. Um, but I think it's supposed to be a little more offensive, and Iwamise is a bit, supposed to be a little bit more defensive. If I'm not mistaken, I very well could be. I'm sure someone in some comment section, comment section somewhere will uh, correct me. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not letting Piccolo die. We are just... We are just... Come on. Come on now. Getting bad confusion luck. There we go. Just not letting it happen. There we go. And we'll see if we run into the other trainer. I'm actually interested to see. No. That's weird. So I feel like when we double battled them, we defeated his first Pokemon, but we did not defeat his second one. But I feel like that might be the game telling us that or, like, the game processed that as us beating him already, so that wasn't a double battle. That is so weird. That's like a new discovery for me. I didn't know that. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to give the gym a try. We might get destroyed. I'm not sure. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> it can be it can be tough. Um, I know fudge cake's really gonna come in handy against one of the uh, Pokemon. All right, let's pop through here. Not there. There we go. I will say beforehand, Watson is just a delightful old man. Gotta love him. He has a real, uh, a real good spirit. 
And yeah, he's a very memorable gym leader for me because he's very challenging, like I said, for Trico people. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? Wahaha, now that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of the Mauville Gym, shall electrify you. Okay. So he is going to start with a Voltorb. Um, let's see here. And it is faster than our Grove Rile. That's tough. Sorry, guys. My internet's being a little spotty. All right. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can hold out here. Um, da -da 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 Folks. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright. After this turn, let me see. Give me one second, guys.
Hey guys, um, if you're watching on Twitch, this is going to be super buggy, but um, I am going to call it right here actually because I'm having just some internet issues, but um, tomorrow <laughs> we will get into this um, fight with Watson. Um, thanks for being patient. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this was a fun little extra thing to happen. It's great. Um, but, uh, thank you. Appreciate you, JJ. Um, but, uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.